be let me define again breakthrough breakthrough is prevailing against obstacles or hindrances I've been defining breakthrough from the beginning of this month but allow me to add today and say when you see something we call a breakthrough and so it, 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 it's prevailing against obstacles or hindrances is overcoming and taking charge over a specific area overcoming and taking charge so you will never overcome if there was no obstacle you will never overcome if there was no hindrance so the devil plans a hindrance or an obstacle then a person of a breakthrough overcomes an obstacle overcome an in a hindrance so we do get breakthrough spiritually because the devil can put a hindrance in the spirit realm so when we go to pray we are prevailing against that obstacle so in prayer we fight some obstacles or we fight some hindrances or we remove with our warfare some hindrances san bonan basalwa san bonan is something so when we overcome those hindrances we say we have got a breakthrough okay so breakthroughs cannot only be limited to what we see in the physical realm but you can have a breakthrough in the spiritual realm because because look 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 when Daniel prayed for the first day the bible says god had his prayer and he gave the answer that was a spiritual a spiritual exercise he prayed that was spiritual god gave the answer that was spiritual but the bible says em kathini kwaba khona umoya obumnyama that was a hindrance that was an obstacle owabambi impendulo ka daniel and then the bible says daniel continued to fast and pray now when he continued to fast and pray it was no longer about the answer because the answer was already released in the spirit but when he continued to fast and pray it was about a breakthrough it was about a hindrance being removed in the spiritual realm so he continued to pray until there was an angel that was sent from above to go and fight the principalities that were holding that were a hindrance between Daniel and his answer you may pray and then there can be a hindrance that does not need you to pray for an answer anymore but you go to a next level and the next level is called warfare where you are taking off any hindrance any obstacle that is delaying your art have a problem umu ye call but every time your things are delayed have a problem with that and move to a second stage of life or a, a second stage of the spiritual realm where we call or where we go to do the warfare ungabu mzalwa nokuthatha kalula ukuthi izinto zakhe ehlale zilate it's no longer hair. the principalities in the spiritual realm is the hindrance now you don't have to you, you don't have to rebuke but you have to go to the warfare because now i understand it's no longer my child it's no longer him it's no longer about the rebuke it's about the spirit now if i go to the spirit for warfare i'm removing some hindrances and when i am removing some obstacles i get my breakthrough breakthrough a breakthrough a breakthrough is when you take charge you take charge over a specific area you have to understand 
that you have to go to before you ngalila lelo lizwe kumele ugu uyezwe nilaka moya uyo kosha onka ma hindrances na ma obstacles abambe lelo lizwe onka ma regions anama anama principalities are gone onka ma spheres anama principalities are gone that is why you have to take charge of the spiritual realm through your warfare prayers and when you have done that you own that place before you start to work when you step in you have to take charge of that place in that day when you get an office in Lago, you have to take charge of that place you have to remove all obstacles and hindrances for a day. That is why when you wake up, you pray. It's not every day when you have to wake up and pray to say, thank you God for a new day. But when you wake up, you must legislate the day. You must take charge and ownership of the day so that everything that happens in that day is according to what you have legislated. It's not every day when you wake up in the morning you have to say thank you Lord. Thank you for the new day. But there are days when you wake up and you have to remove some hindrances. When you wake up and you feel a load when you wake up and feel the load on that day it's like no, there are hindrances that you are sensing that are, are, are on that day so you have to wake up and take charge of that day then you have your breakthrough now anything else that is moving slow that is flowing on that day is a result of a breakthrough that has happened in the spirit realm. The breakthrough is when you finally touch, finally touch that thing which you have been hindered from. A breakthrough is a sudden burst to a fresh aspired realm. It's a breakthrough. Last Sunday, we spoke on Matthew chapter 6. That Jesus says, do not worry about these things. For the heathens, they also worry about them. But seek he first the kingdom and his righteousness. Then Jesus says, all these things that you are looking for, they will be added unto you. All these things that you want, all these things that you want to touch, they will be added unto you only if you seek first the kingdom and his righteousness. Now, that looks like or it sounds like an easy exercise. Sounds like it's very easy to seek the kingdom, to, to want to know more about God and his kingdom. And when I have an intact relationship with God, it sounds very, very easy. Seeking to be in right standing with God, it sounds very easy. But what is it that makes it difficult for us to seek always the kingdom and his righteousness? Let me answer you. Example, let me rephrase what I just said. What makes it difficult for me or for you to live a holy life? What, it, what is it that makes it difficult for you to pray always? What is it that makes it difficult for you not to worry? What is it that makes you to worry when Jesus has said, do not worry? What makes us cry, what makes us to worry about when will I get my raise? What makes us to worry about when will I get the promotion when Jesus has said do not worry 
what makes us to worry when we apply and we don't get jobs when Jesus has said do not worry Jesus has already said do not worry about these things Jesus has said Buga I holy grand as a save they do not save they don't save but Jesus is saying but your father your father he feeds the birds. Now, what makes us find it difficult not to worry when we don't have food in our cabinet? Because Jesus has already addressed it and he has said, do not worry. Jesus has said, do not worry. But what makes us worry, what makes it so difficult that we cannot worry when there is no food in our refrigerators. What makes us worry? Jesus has said, hey, Buga, im, 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 do say, ya sende. Iya kogi, ya swenga. Uti lezi imbali, ziya, kagaza na mshanje, tasa ibuni. Uti kota zi swengi so baba, uti nishu solo mwone, kazi, kazi mbali. He has never owned such beautiful clothes that the lilies are wearing. That the flowers are wearing, that the grass is wearing, wearing that, the, that the trees are wearing. Jesus is saying, U Solomon was a wealthy man, but he has never had such beautiful garments. And he says, Your father, again, your father, we are not Kogisa, the lilies, we are not Kogisa, we are not Kogisa, Uchahan. What is difficult then? What makes it difficult for us not to worry? It sounds so beautiful and so good and so right that we must not worry. But the truth is, you say it. Command you are worried. You see. God has made all things perfect and beautiful. He has predestined a good thing and a good life. And he has outlined those things for us in his word. He has said those things are no longer just promises. But they are inheritance. God has said we have become the co heirs with Christ. We are no longer like Israelites who lived in promises. But we have acquired inheritance. And God has continued to say, he owns silver and gold. Okay, in fact, he says in Deuteronomy, he gives you power to do wealth. But we still have a challenge that we worry about these things. And sometimes we pray, and there's these things, they never come to us the moment we are waiting for them. Have you ever been in a situation, Bazalwane, where you are believing God, having faith, plant seeds, pray, give, because you are believing God for a certain breakthrough. And it seems like it delays you know how frustrated you become? At that point in time, you doubt. At that point in time, you are stressed out. You are worried. And in that time, when you are going through that, you do no longer see the beauty of God. Just because you are thinking, maybe, maybe I'm something Have you ever come to a prayer point three times, four times? Usule bonka bantu ngoba kubenga chumtanda kakulu kulu kulu ngalezo ilizugu usulale pantsu kali kubenga chumtanda kakulu kandi it's because you are looking for that certain breakthrough. Now I have news for you. There is a kingdom of darkness 
I want you to be aware of that. There is a kingdom of darkness that has been strategically formed to hinder God's people. Can I repeat that? Gifuna was namshanjuguti. What makes these delays of my breakthroughs? Why am I not touching this thing? What, have you ever have you ever seen it? We born. I don't know how to explain this. We born a land. We born. Foot we is we no get to the wall. Go to my feet. Have you ever went to interview after interview and 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 you are so sure which is all ash or manja because you even saw the panel who could have swing and the baby cars again I when you explain and you are so sure my poem would have got this but still on a figure it's because there is a kingdom of darkness that has been strategically formed to hinder God's people so this it's, it's not that God has failed it's not that God doesn't love. It's not that the pastor was lying to you. It's not that the prophet who prophesied you was lying to you. It's, it's, it's not because you, you, you're, not, you're not living right. It's not because No, 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 no. Stop that. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. No, 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 no. Stop doing that to yourself. Stop being hard on yourself. It's not about you failing. It's not about you because you because because, because God knows anyway your weaknesses. If I believe in no many way to sympathize with our weaknesses, because Jesus was just like me and you, so he understands he has been in flesh just like me and you. That is why he sympathized with our weaknesses. Jesus knew you can't be hundred percent perfect. Stop being hard on yourself. It's not about you failing to be holy. It's not because you're not getting this because you are so, you are just a filthy person. It has nothing to do with you. There is a kingdom of darkness that has been strategically formed to hinder God's people. Understanding this will make you to be a better person from today. Because one, you will understand when I'm having a hindrance. This kingdom of darkness is hindering me. Now I go to warfare. And when I go to warfare, every hindrance, every obstacle, I send fire in the name of Jesus. you can be, the devil want you to lose your self-esteem, your self-confidence in God. Even your self-confidence, your self-confidence. The devil want you to think you are a loser. You know the devil can even, he can even preach to you and even show you you hate yourself and that is where the devil wants you so that when then you will start when the devil has made you see that you are worthless when the devil has made you to see that we is a when the devil has made you to see that you are in embarrassment. When the devil has made you to see that you are even unworthy to be called the child of God. You lose it. And that is where the devil wants you. This kingdom of darkness that has been formed strategically to hinder or to, 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 to give obstacles for the children of God or for the church. That the devil... Is not a gas tolly la pobazadwan. Us tola ngoba sit masses tolly la oma obstacles, no mala oma hindrances. Besses in la shagel or butina, mova lo such never lose who you are. 
And I have told you a month ago who you are. You are the child of God. You are a co heir with Christ. You are the heavenly state on earth. That is who you are. You are the ambassador of the kingdom of God on earth. That is who you are. That is how you are defined. Oh God. You are the son of God. That's position. Never lose that. You can lose the status of being a messes. You can lose the status of being a mister. You can lose the status of everything. But never lose your identity in Christ. This is who I am. Because once you lose your identity in Christ, that's when the devil gets hold of you. Now, as I have said, this kingdom that I want you to be aware of, it is strategically formed to hinder the church, to hinder God's people. It means these are strategists. Don't think the devil is a fool. And let me tell you, Ibil can get away with everything. So Usatana is not a fool. He's a strategist. He has strategized. Now, he sent things that we call um, uh, evil agents. They come through your thoughts. That is why I always say to you, your mind is the greatest asset. Before anyone can leave a church, it starts with their thoughts. Then they start to magnify anything that happens when I come in the church and sit down. Everything. It's all in the thoughts. You start to magnify this thing. When you sit down, when you hear someone talking, oh, I will show me no value says we. Eh? When you hear the word being preached, because the devil is, 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 has sent the evil agent, and the agent is dealing with you in your mind. Then, 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 then remember, remember when Angel got to Tandas, got to Nigel, got to break through, I think. Eh? The next thing you hear someone testifies, oh, you're a figure, and a figure, and I understand the second income, oh, and a three weeks, and I got the mafia, what I was on Nigel, in meaning, and I told you, 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 and I if you can listen to me. This is why I know I'm so zengawa. This is why I know I'm so zengayegungkunungu. This is why I know I'm so zengashubuk. This is why I know I'm so zengatwala mina. This is why I know. Because I know this truth. I've gone beyond understanding the evil agents tactics. And when I see them, I see this is the evil agent. And I'm and, and this. I am this. And this. Then, 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 we shall have pants. What you are saying, son, Nigel, Axum, Mutem, Atinans, Iak, Umangabi Kupura, is a coupon, which work out there was a guy a cupuging and Kahuning for I cupuging and Naman and Sally did break through Yami. And this, and I am Banshe, who's about Kalel. The evil agent is dealing with you. The next thing on a Sunday, soon I'm a commitments. The evil agent is still dealing with you. Soon I'm a commitments on a Sunday. And I'll, I'll now say now, I'll say is what I am doing. I say, I'm going to 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 say, the evil agent is dealing with you. The evil agent is dealing with you. Uchu figi lengeli ni lang, uvelu sugu lo mzalo anoga te wam tin. How oh, uvelu kulpala gangab, uvelu sechenzis. The evil agent is dealing with you. Oh, shuchu se mwanang kulpa shuchu se kanse ni jizon. Ah, the evil agent is dealing with you. The next thing, you are no longer praying 
You are no longer waiting for your breakthrough. You are in an intense warfare, but you don't go to warfare. <laughs> the evil agent is dealing with you. The next thing, the next thing, when I was so calm and just now, I'm grouping all the let's all the cool magabi bands, let's all the cool magabi bazaluan, let's all the bonus days in pictures, big bazaluan, the bonus days in pictures. This is my band. Then I'm going to fund this. Now we're swinging any lab. Now you find yourself into commenting on such things. The evil agent is dealing with you. Young Elendo, Ikalo Guti, there was a hindrance in the spiritual realm, and you wanted a breakthrough, and you didn't get your breakthrough. But you didn't understand that there is a kingdom of darkness that has been strategically formed to hinder you. The evil agent is dealing with you. The next thing that happens, the next stage that happens, Ususo Zongabantu Bebe Kokale Wemzal. Well, yes, good to Wemzal. I call no mama, meaning Gengayago. And the low mama Jonas was on King Pendulosak. Wemzal, look around to an age in no man, lend your good. Zonking and an ace is in for walk. Says it drive him out. When and when and Jim Zalange, who and Jim Mill and Jim Mill, who are Holam Zalagota, who mill ago, Kono Mamma Minen Zuling, I got a shy telling. He has got a pillow and a mobus in the sea where I shame. The evil agent is dealing with you. He has sent another agent again. Kona la funako. He's strategizing. The devil is very strategic. Tell your neighbor, say the devil is strategic. But don't be scared of him. Because you have the wisdom of God. He may come with all strategies to me. I have the wisdom of God. I can see this is the strategy of the enemy. And I won't fall prey of this trap. I won't. Mzala angna yo je bini mali yogu. Yogu yala pe wenjo mezi ndoza mi itule mzala nje. Angna yongi shi mali yogu yala. Kulega mzala. Mzo kokele. Futi ngi okanaizile ne mote so hamba ngayu. Wazwa ni nchizi yen shumzala wata aza tengele ngi shisinkwa. Umzala agekho good ekwenzele nezinye izinto kodwa good masekufanela kuse lapha ya And una sineke Una sineke ngoba ufuna ukuse an evil agent Next thing we are hambu ya lapha ka mama we are told into yaqumi yaphalaza uyancinda uyapeta uyachopa weqinde ngezi uyakhotha uya uya uyafutha thu kwenza njani uyakhwifa the next thing we as lash velak sang fanel ogen konzi velak sang fanel o konzi ngolongol seng zeng angena ngap condemn yourself that when the devil do no longer send agents he comes there by himself he recruits you for his kingdom of darkness and you are very dangerous because we shall not be like I'm saying this. We start going on, and we start telling ourselves, "Ben, this is how we're going." But who will fall prey of it? This color man just advertises. Hello, how we? He might do so. He think, think he might. Can't be said with his cartridge. Same pen, the lawyer. He think he might have done a yak. Mama, I can't understand. No, it's a lot of this. Anbazi joba betanda zabe vuta jebe kope bule mine psugbe nza. Usho we na so become a devil agent. There is a kingdom of darkness. Let me tell you, your breakthrough has already come. But there is a kingdom of darkness that has been strategically formed to hinder God's people or the church. Read from him from this Matthew 16, verse 18. Let me give you this assurance. Knowing, saying us, ye in the gang enza, give a content. Ye in the gang enza, go back. Gas gash. Ugutta, I break through your mirrors, a footy si figil. Ugutta, you call numbus, oivim bill. Nancy into, and enza game. Fundam fundis. Matthew 16, verse 18. Yes, sir. Naming it, he came, uwe, 
wena ungu petru. Pez wale lituala, giagulaka ibanjalam. Amasango e haitesi, awaigula shuna. Ndalung pindela leo pati mfundis. Pez. Pe, nami ngitigue. Pez wale lituala. Yes, say. Giagulaka ibanjalam. Aha. Amasango e haitesi, awaigula shuna. Read for me mfundis. That part. And now I'm going to tell you who you are. Really are. You are Peter. Read that part, the last part. This. A church so expensive with energy that not even and the gates. And upon this I shall build my church. It should start there. This. And the gates of hell or the gates of hate shall not prevail. Jesus has said as you are part of the church as you are part of the body understanding that there is a kingdom of darkness that is hindering your breakthrough that has obstacles but Jesus said because you are part of the church and I said to you the church is the is the heavenly state on earth because you are part of the body the gates of hell the gate of heights shall not prevail. Amasanges hoko. Meaning the principalities, meaning the evil agents, meaning the kingdom of darkness shall not prevail over you. Amasanges hoko no manga planani. Awayukuashula. This is what gives us confidence. That Jesus has given us a promise that the gates of hell will not prevail over the church. We will not fall prey to his traps because we understand we are the church. And Jesus established his church, his ecclesia, his state. His cabinet. Let the angel go to the parliament. We are my cabinet minister. And you are given. Ama. 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 Niti in lento le basalwa. La choko ni zotoli moto. Zotoli ma podi kad. Niti ni biza ngani kwa HR. Package. You are given your package. You are told these are your allowances. You are told as a minister. In this cabinet. There are things that must not be done to you. You are told you are safe. You are given a house. You are safe. You are given a house. And you are even told that even your family is a God. Because you are the member of the cabinet. Because you are the member of the cabinet. Even media is not allowed to scandalize you because you are the member of the cabinet. Shakuna Haya. Jesus is saying you are the member of the cabinet. The gates of hell will not prevail. The gates of hell will try you, but the gates of hell will not prevail. This is a promise. This is a package that we received because we are the church. We are the body of Christ. No matter how many obstacles and hindrances, I know the gates of hell will not prevail. The devil can hinder me today, but I know I know. I know. I know. The gates of hell will not prevail. I know. The gates of hell. Let the devil give me a sickness. But I know. The gates of hell. Will not prevail. Let him give me unemployment. I know. The gates of hell. Will not prevail. Innocence, I see me. Who 
ukuthi amasonge soko awayo lokulahlula it was declared by Christ Jesus so it shall be I know I do no longer believe but I know I have moved from the stage of believing that the gate of hell shall not prevail but now I know and ngeku ngenzela utho because I know I know I know I'm the minister in the cabinet He won't allow nyawo lo mshelele Ingakho ngosele ngalali ugada amasange soko ukuthi angalahluli Shaluhala hayi ugada amasange soko ukuthi angalahluli ibandla What is a church <laughs> We have been come the Israel with the new covenant of Christ. We have been adopted. We were Gentiles. God was salahali ngenxa yethu. Akasoseli ngenxa yethu. Ugada amasanga ezoko. I may not get my breakthrough today. God only ask. Kega fuma masanga soka ngehlulu. Unendaba nebandla lakhe. Unendaba nawo ngoba uyincenye yalo. Unendaba nomzimba wakhe. Mhlambe let me define to you. The church is his body. And he is the head. So unendaba nomzimba wakhe. Njengoba nawo uma uvukugeza. Ngoba uya unakekela umzimba wakho nayo unendaba nomzimba wakhe musucabanga lento ingawe imayelana nomzimba wakhe He is the head of the body He is the head of the body What is the church The church is his household and he is a father As a father he is a protector because you are part of his household he is your father ungu baba no bubele uya bala nezinwele uya mfunzwe ngqokisa yebu uya nakekela the church is his household and he is the father haleluya amasanga soko keka lahlule Nganu baba wele enhlu uye. Yena nempi. Onqoba nokunqoba. Masange soka unakuhlula we. Don't give up, don't get go, don't give up, don't give up. Don't give up, don't give up. Don't give up. You may not see a breakthrough today. Kodwa masange soko. A church is his household. A church are God's people. and he is a king any king i fool ngabantu bayo ngake ngezwe ngangezwe lakhe engakakhothane ekhulume kwa nongoma ethi esephalesi kwadla mahlahla kazomoya kwakhetho umthandayo ngalelo la kodwa ngamuzwe ngangezwe lakhe ngele ngila ngekhuluma esethi esema nongoma watho ngangezwe lakhe lawo abantu bokufika abagcwele kangaka baqeda amathuba emsebenzi futhi bangcolisa izwe lami esho nje leso statement ongangeso kwaba usuku ngangibona indabeni kwathi we call the xenophobic attacks kwathi we take in the xenophobic attacks kushawa abantu bokufika bashawelwane bathi abaqoni ngayo hayi kube ilawo amazwi ngoba yikhinkosi efunayo Kabantu bayo a church it's God's people and he is a king he will not allow the enemy to do as he pleases ebandlenlakhe Ela mosha Ukhala bosele hayi Ukhana meshotha kada We are his people. He is our king. He will not allow. Ila mosha. 
mahali zula la hela mosha ikata mashe hela zulelele mosha we are god's people fana kukufuke ngalingina ngekuseni uze ukuthi khona ma hindrances nama obstacles uphule uma le mnyango uyilule You are mine. I'm yours. You are mine. I'm your person. You are my king. Church. A church is God's building. A church is God's building. Anazini ukuthi mzimba yena ithempele ngihlala kulo. A church is God's people building. A church is God's building. Can I repeat a church is God's building. Now listen to this. God is the builder and the architect. Architect ya do ebinhlu ibe ne plan yokuthi lendlu izobanjana architect yenze namaqamere ngakahlala imuntu iwenze phepheni god is the architect of his church because the church is his building then god is a builder after he has architect the building then he begins to build when he builds there's such a prophet jeremiah ngelinye ilanga kwathi wangma ngehle ngehlela endlini yombumbi uthi ngathi mangifika umbumbi in the porous house ngafika umbumbi ethathu ubumba uthi wayelifaka esondweni uthi bese yayakha lento iphuma uthi mayi ngaba ngayi shape yale into ayifunayo bese iqala phansi yayibhikisha abanye bethu sise stage nsokubhikiswa ngoku uyasiphinda uyasaka he is a potter You are the clay. Bese yai bishes. Aphinda thathelo lobumba kalahle. Awutshele lo sethuthani ngeke azaki lahle. Noma bengi akulahla yena ngeke akuli lahle. Noma ungazi lahla wena kodwa yena ngeke akuli lahle. Church is God's building. And he is a builder. A church is like a clay in his hands. And he is a potter. He is pottering us. Bese litha phinda thatha lelo bumba. Tum prophet Jeremiah phinda lisa sondweni. Abanye bethu sise stage nise sondo. Use sondweni. Uyakhiwa. Awubulawa kodwa uyakhiwa. Kukhona i shape that the master builder wants. Ingakha masange soko. Awayina kwahlula. Ngeke azawe I don't care what you Satan do to him. God don't care what we do. What is a church? A church is God's army. A church is God's army. Ibanda impi ka Jehova. Umu funda le ngote bengi soi funda. Ka First Samuel chapter number four. No First Samuel chapter number five. Liti Bible la ma Philistine. Aga suge la ma Israel. Lita hamba yolo na wempi ni. Oh, the church is God's army. Ahamba ma Philistine alwana ma Israel. Liti Bible awa shaya ma Philistine awa bulala ma Israel about three three thousand or thirty thousand men. Abalega ma Israel. Liti ma Israel ahamba yolo ebi plan. Ati kwenza galene sabula wa ma Philistine yine singa yenza. Uguba ma Philistine suango be sesi afan. Sesi afan. Church is got on. Ama sang is hoko. Awa ikwa shula. Iti paipel bat masebe shele. Bati ay. Aslandu mpongo. Aslandu mpongo. A church is got on. And God is a commander. Asi yumpongo lunge eko. Asi gogu lukomande. We are his army. He is our commander. Uma siyempini. Samba no commander. Na 
sepini uyisi shabu But wait for our CIC, our chief in command. His name is Jehovah, the Lord who is strong in battle. But we swear you that God will be the one who is the one in the there is still our God sitting on his throne. Umesa sesnalueni amasangevo go. Mangega sashu simenge nyawose. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hallelujah. Yakoto impiga takoni. Yawe impiga Jehovah. I'm here to declare a church will always win. A breakthrough came for Israelites. Umpongol wa ngobi mpiga tako. He is our chief in command. His name is Jehovah God. He's strong and mighty. Uto da uto vite vulegani masamo. Ati nani mikoko. Ati vulegani. Ati na maketa ngenzi. Ati vulegani. Besa tu kuzinkosi enkosi mulo. 
As long he is still seated on his throne. You can be assured your breakthrough is guaranteed. Look at your neighbor and say your breakthrough is guaranteed. Look at another neighbor and say your breakthrough is guaranteed. I have come this morning to tell someone who feels like there is an obstacle, there is an hindrance. I have come to announce to you, my song is Oko. Your breakthrough is on the way. In fact, your breakthrough has come. I want you to take. Satan and Akaba would you win it? But I'm standing on my mezzel and I'm cutting Nagua Matimon with his. Now, this is a business as niggers were in Cossiet. I'm a song as Hog. The church of God always win. The church of God always emerge. Even in these days where you, when, 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 when it seems like the church of God is going down, I am here to declare the church of God always emerge. Even in these days, like the church of God always emerge. Because the church always emerge. Lift up your hands. Want to hear somebody pray this morning? Open your mouth and begin to pray. 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 Open your mouth. Liha suka selehe ukaha shehele behe suhele beshehe. I want some people who are intercessors in this house to help me pray this morning. 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 I want to hear somebody pray this morning. I want to hear somebody pray this morning. I want to hear somebody pray this morning. Poka the armies of Israel be unto God the gates of the victory to our Lord Jesus Christ thank you God for the overcoming power in the blood of Jesus Christ as it is written that we overcame the devil by means of the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony thank you God that you have placed Jesus Christ all principalities above all power above all might all dominion every title and your kingdom of God it reigns forever your kingdom of God it reigns forever your kingdom of God it reigns forever Oh, baby, baby, shit. Shit, baby, 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 they shall not prevail. They shall not prevail. Somebody celebrate. Somebody celebrate. Let the church make some noise and rejoice for salvation has come. Sing over Declare. 
hand will not prevail. And your breakthrough has come. Your breakthrough cannot be hindered. Your breakthrough is guaranteed. Coming 